The next level is the Gaussian Jordan elimination. So with Gaussian elimination, we just wanted to get these to be zero. In Gaussian Jordan elimination, we also want these to be zeros, and we want our diagonal to all be ones. Because when you have this, then you can just look at it and say, oh, x is this, y is this, and z is this. And it's really nice. That's actually going to be the next question. Can we do it all in a matrix instead of having Yes, we would have to do it, but now we can't. So we'll start with the 2 by 2. OK? And as far as systematically going about this, we sort of have three steps with our two by two. Okay? I will label them blue would be the first step to make that a zero. Then We'll do the green part. We'll make that a 1. And finally, make the purple a 0. If you have a 3 by 3, OK? You would have to make this a 1 to begin with. So you have four steps. Yeah. OK. With your 3 by 3, right, this is our goal. What will happen is you will do this first. that second, then you can make this a one-third, which will allow you, once that's a one, to make both of those zeros next, followed by making this a one, and finally That is zero. That's general form. If you were setting up an algorithm for a computer program to do this, this is what you would tell it to do. Make this zeros, make that a zero, make this a one, and so on. So let's look at how that works. If we have that in mind, and now I would say logically this is what has to happen. If you just think, what is the next thing I can do, that would be the next thing that's possible to do. So here, in this one, to start off, I want to make that a 0 in that blue box. So I'm going to take row 2 and minus row 1. So my row 1 hasn't changed. 1, negative 2, 10. Row 2 minus row 1, this will be 0. 4 minus a negative 2 will be 6. 16 minus 10, 6. OK? I now can take row 2 and divide it by 6 or multiply it by 1 sixth, whatever way you'd like to write it. That does my green step. Ooh, maybe I should. Let's be fancy here. Oh, this is nice. There we go. 1, negative 2, 10, and now it's 0, 1, 1. And finally, my purple step here, I can now take row 1 and make it row 1 plus 2 row 2s. So I'm not changing row 2, so that one is going to stay. 2 row 2's plus that. This stays a 1 because I'm adding it to 0, which is handy. And now this becomes a 0. And we can now tell 
that y has to equal 1 and x has to equal 12. Who came up with that? Ghost Jordan. Two different people. Gaussian elimination happened first, and because this is just piggybacking off of Gaussian elimination, yeah, like, eh, you, don't get you don't get your own name for this. It's sort of like the Gaussian is just when you get the bottom one zero and plug in. Jordan's like, let's just keep going with this and make the identity matrix. You can check them later. I give up on the So there is the first one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And again, you can type these into your calculator to get the solution. So it's not a matter of not finding the answer. You can always plug them in to create your answer. And the other thing you can do, if you want to make some for practice for yourself, yeah. is you can just choose an x and a y. Uh -huh. Like you say, I'm going to make x2 and y4. And then just make up equations that have that true. Make up two equations that have that true. And then you can set up your matrices to practice. Your random numbers isn't so good, because then you get fractions, and then it's just not harder, just more tedious. Well, you could type in your augmented matrix into your cal calculator, and then there's an RREF button, which reduces it to that form. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, you want to see? I'll put the last one up on the video as well here. Uh, the, last, the very last one I don't have. So here you would simplify it first. There I've done in the blue and the green to get your equations.